Hey, many fish. 27th of April, 2023. I do pray you're all doing well. This article came out yesterday, the 26th. Replica of Coronation Chair opens at London Eye. And if you don't know what the London Eye is, it's a giant Ferris wheel. Now this Ferris wheel has 32 sealed and air-conditioned passenger capsules, okay? But the capsules are numbered 1 to 33, excluding number 13. Why? For superstitious reasons. Think about that. The 13, the number of rebellion, they leave it out of the eye. They are the rebellious nation, the rebellious generation. The United States with its 13 colonies. I'm just telling you, the United States is nothing more than a vassal, a, a territory of the United Kingdom. And that'll be proved out once Charles gets rolling along. So I'm looking into this stuff and I come across another video from GB News talking about this capsule, this Coronation London iPod, they call it. While I'm watching this video, it's the same gurgly gook, but I also notice that the top of this throne is oddly shaped like the Star of Remphan, or the Star of David, you know, Israel's symbol. That looks like the top half of it. This is very interesting. Out of the 32 pods, I was curious which one is the coronation pod, but you can't find that anywhere. So I'm watching this little video here, and I get to the two-minute... Watch this right here. This is the only instance where they show an exterior view of these pods. ...and take their stately selfie to commemorate the historical event. We have had huge... Right there is the only time they show an exterior view of these pods. And what number pod is that, I ask you? I took a screenshot. It's pod number 23. And when does it show up in the video? At exactly 2 minutes and 3 seconds. So, I'm really curious at this point. So it comes upon me to look into from when the Queen died until yesterday when this article came out. And of course, it's exactly 230 days. This is just a continuation of that seed war this underlying ritual manifestation that, that we're able to see because God has given us eyes, whereas they have the evil eye because once I started looking into this in the Bible concerning the eye, I came directly to Proverbs 23, 6, which the two and the three you can make into a five, six, which is May 6th. And the verse reads, Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meat. And that translates out to luxuries and royal treatment, so to speak. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. The 32 capsules with no rebellious 13, which is the one I would have expected them to build the throne in. But no, we are shown capsule 23. At two minutes and three seconds. I'm telling you, there is a definite thing going on here. You know what I mean? And this goes back to the, the hand that was etched in the wall in Jerusalem I shared in some videos a few months ago. That hand was the symbol used to ward off the evil eye. It's just amazing to me. So I thought I'd quickly share that with you. The people still have the veil over their eyes. And we got to keep planting seeds because time is incredibly short. That's all I can really tell you. God bless y'all. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God.